gonna make a move out here when we came up the hill because they were gobbling about right where the truck was. I don't know what to do. He's gobbling his butt off. He's gobbling like crazy. I've got one goblin out here. Oh, might be too bad. They seem to like to travel right here on the edge of this big woods. Right above the creek, so. Look up big, what's going on? Heard some birds on the roost. Uh, kind of got quiet. The decoy was down here, and uh, they were with hens, and they just walked right on down to us. That goblin's up this morning, and we know there's some turkey around up on this knob. Hey guys, welcome to Brothers of the Woods Outdoors. I'm Jim Davis. And I'm Dave Bunnell. And up first this week, we're going to head out with pro staff member Jimmy Riffle, and he's got a good buddy tagging along. Hey, good morning, everybody. This morning, we're going to go out and hunt a farm with my buddy uh, Daniel from work. So this is his family's farm. Uh, I got permission to hunt it last year. Tons of turkey on there. Just really wasn't able to, to seal the deal last year. I couldn't get anything within range while I was comfortable with my setup and the experience I had uh, turkey hunting. But we got a blind set up in a nice little spot out in this open field. We know turkey come through there all the time. So we're gonna go out and, and set and you know just see what happens. We're probably gonna set out one single decoy, hen decoy. Uh, it is calling for some nasty weather. So we made the decision last night that uh, you know we, we would go out uh, irregardless, you know, since we're, we're gonna be in the blind. A lot of wind you know <laughs> comes across that that uh, that field over in there. But we get, we're staked down pretty good, so we shouldn't have to worry about the blind going anywhere. Just hopefully, you know, uh, the weather kind of holds off for us, or even if it doesn't, you know, maybe some turkey will come through. Just really don't know, but can't really forfeit a weekend and, and not go try to get a turkey. So, you know, he's not very experienced with turkey hunting either. We're just kind of learning as we go and uh, trial and error for both of us. But it's fun, it's nice to be out in the blind with somebody else. He's gonna run the camera, he is gonna take his shotgun, just in case, you know, stranger things have happened. So I said, you know, there's no need not to take it. If, if I would happen to get a bird and there's another one around, you know, we may get lucky and uh, be able to, you know, get another shot at a second bird. Here's to hoping, uh, hope you guys enjoy, and uh, We'll see you out in the blind.
When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. Your time is valuable, and when you're ready to sell your home, farm, or commercial property, the key word is ready. Why list your property for up to a year and wait for buyers to find it? We find the buyers. With Joe R. Powell Auctions, you choose the day your property sells. Our targeted marketing brings buyers from across the nation. We sell your property in six weeks or less, not in months. Don't wait. Call 855-JOE-WILL to schedule your free consultation. In life, some things just go together, like a burger and fries, and home and auto insurance from State Farm. Combine and save. Call State Farm agent Brad Wild at 304-873-2806 today. At Hope Gas, the safety is always our focus. If you plan on digging, state law requires you call WV811 to have lines located at least 48 hours before you begin any excavation. If you accidentally hit a Hope Gas pipeline, no matter how minor it may seem, leave the area immediately and call Hope Gas at 800 934 3187 and 911. Hey, if you'd like to follow along with the Brothers of the Woods Outdoors team throughout the entire year, be sure to check us out on all our social media outlets. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated.
Ian. No, 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 no. everybody so I'm out here with my buddy Daniel and we're hunting his family's farm <clears throat> so yesterday I passed up on the Jake down in Ritchie uh, this morning Daniel and I decided we'd come out it was calling for rain but we thought we'll brave it see if we can get in here before the rain and make something happen heard a couple off in the distance but we just happened to see movement up well Daniel saw him up on top of the hill and they just come walking right down off they um, I let out a couple nice little um, little uh, sweet purrs there calls or whatever when my um, my Hardy's call and the decoy was down here and uh, they were with hens and they just walked right on down to us where the decoy was so I was able to put the apex to this one and once it hit the dirt uh, the other one started to come right down off to that one so uh, Daniel was able to to take one so we doubled up and had to make it more cool uh, you know it was both Daniel and I's first bird so it was pretty nice experience and had a lot of fun I'm grateful to get to come out here and, and hunt this farm so the rain's coming in we're gonna get ready and get packed up and get out of here but I want to thank you for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors boy Jim that sure was an exciting hunt I tell you what it was a tense moment when Daniel realized he didn't have a shell in the chamber <laughs> Jim it sure was hey and up next we're gonna head out with pro staff member Andy Roush but up first is this week's tip of the week here at Brothers of the Woods Outdoors, we always shoot our shotguns prior to season to make sure they're still sighted in. It's also a good idea to practice with your non-dominant side in case the situation arises where you have to shoot with your off hand. I'm Gary Shepard, and that's your Joe R. Pyle Auction Services Tip of the Week. Two wheels of four, the fun starts here at RG's. RG has a complete selection of new Yamaha ATVs and side-by-sides to get you to the hunt. Our experienced team will help you get outdoors on the model that best fits your needs today. The business office can provide you easy payments to fit your budget. RG has a fully stocked accessories to customize your ride. The fully trained service team is here to maintain your Yamaha and keep it in top running condition. RG Motorsports in Bridgeport has been serving our community for 60 years. The fun starts here at RG. HopeGas proudly provides service to more than 112,000 customers in 35 West Virginia counties. We currently employ over 400 employees right here in our beautiful mountain state. Our team is not only dedicated to providing quality service, but also to improving the communities in which we work. Please visit our website, hopegas.com, for more information, or call our customer service department at 1-800-688-4673. Hey guys, I'm Dylan with Johnson's Wildlife Taxidermy Studio. We're located in Grafton, West Virginia. I'd appreciate it if you would consider us for all your taxidermy needs. Safe hunting and God bless. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. Hi, I'm Todd Linker, Linker Tax Service. We do accounting, tax, payroll, and more. 
If you need someone to prepare your taxes for you or your business this year, stop by or give us a call 304-657-2860. We do taxes. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated. Hey guys, it's a beautiful evening here in the second week of uh, turkey season in our state of West Virginia. Unfortunately, last week I was out of town working and uh, so I'm up here trying to do a little scouting. It's uh, about 7.15 right now, seeing if we're getting birds to roost. I know back over my shoulder right here is uh, where I do a lot of my hunting and I have a lot of birds go up there and, uh, and uh, roost. So we're just gonna sit tight for a little bit and see if we hear anything. Hey guys, get a little darker out here. We'll try to do a little owl hoot and see if we can locate one. I don't know if you heard it, but I got one at the couple right back up over here. So we're gonna try to sneak out of here and uh, see what we can do. Hey guys, quick update. For about the last 30, 35 minutes, then I heard to my right, I've been hearing a gobbler. Uh, he hasn't shut up all morning. Uh, from the start, he's been on the uh, limb to the ground. One minute, he sounds like he's uh, going away from me. One minute, it sounds like he's getting closer. I'm going to get my uh, Hardy's custom calls out and uh, try to do some soft yelping and see if I can get him to come in. Thank you, Lord. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hey, good morning, guys. What a beautiful day to be out here in God's creation, hearing the birds chirp, hearing this guy start at 6.53, gobbling on the roost for 45, 50 minutes. He never shut up. About seven o'clock, he kind of went silent on me. And I got the Hardy's custom mouth call out and started doing some real soft calls. And next thing you know, he, he gobbles back at me. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to get the cameras on. He's right there. And as soon as I turned the camera on, he popped up over the bank, come over, flirted around with the decoy for a little bit. And then uh, I was like, I'm too anxious. I got to shoot. Uh, I just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for everything you do for me. Um, I also want to take this one and send it out to my uh, brother all who passed away about four weeks ago. Andy Cleveland. I, uh, I love you, buddy. And uh, this bird's for you.
and uh, just thank you guys out there for watching Brothers Woods Outdoors. Boy, Jim, that little ridge right there has been really good to Andy the last couple years. It sure has. Hey, up next, we're headed out with junior pro staffer Aiden Compton, and he's hunting close to home right after the commercial break. Your time is valuable, and when you're ready to sell your home, farm, or commercial property, the key word is ready. Why list your property for up to a year and wait for buyers to find it? We find the buyers. With Joe R. Powell Auctions, you choose the day your property sells. Our targeted marketing brings buyers from across the nation. We sell your property in six weeks or less, not in months. Don't wait. Call 855-JOE-WILL to schedule your free consultation. When it comes to business, we all have areas of specialty, but there are times when we need guidance. We need someone to come along and show us the most creative and environmentally safe way to navigate our engineering challenges. That's where we come in. CEC stands for Civil and Environmental Consultants. You show us the problem, we'll provide you with the solution. Visit wearecec.com. Big firm capabilities, small firm culture. State Farm Agent Brad Wild at 304-873-2806 today. Brothers of the Woods Outdoors is brought to you by Civil and Environmental Consultants Incorporated and these fine sponsors. Closed captioning is brought to you by RDR Ready Mix Concrete. Okay folks, we're here with Aiden. It's the last weekend of West Virginia spring turkey season. Uh, my wife's been seeing a turkey uh, strutting when she's going to work every morning on our property. And uh, we're going to go see if we can get on that turkey. I haven't heard him gobble yet, but Aiden's going to blow the owl hooter here. Let's see what happens. Go ahead, Aiden. <coughs> heard one way off. Try it again, there, buddy. We got a blind set up down there. Thinking about uh, going down there and putting out a hen decoy and uh, sitting and being quiet and waiting.
wreck basis now. All right, folks, we're here with Aiden. Uh, it's the last Saturday of spring gobbler season here in West Virginia. And uh, my wife had been seeing this gobbler at the bottom of our driveway on our way to work every morning strutting. So Aiden and I decided to get a bond and get a hen decoy and bring it down here. Uh, all of our good bonds are out, so we just got an old rickety bond that's ripped up and threw it up. And uh, what happened, Aiden? Uh, we got we got out here early this morning. Um, we used the owl hoodie. Didn't really hear anything. So we got, we got down here and uh, called a couple times. Not much later, like five minutes. So we came in quiet and uh, got him. Um, it's been a blessed season. And uh, thanks for watching, brothers. See what's outdoors. Man, Dave, that gives a whole new meaning to hunting close to home. Yes, it does, Jim. Hey, and up next week, we have two exciting hunts lined up for you. First, we're going to head out with pro staff member Andy Rouse, and he has his dad, Mike, with him. And they're both going to kill big gobbler, Jim. Then we're going to head over to Kentucky with junior pro staff member Kaylin Stacy. Hey, in the meantime, be sure to follow along with us on our Facebook, Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube and our Carbon TV channels, and you can watch our hunts anytime. And as always, thank you for watching Brothers of the Woods Outdoors.